Everyone likes Ivy, right? But what if you don't like Ivy and you want to run a build on her where you have to invest as little as possible in her, but you still want to have her as some kind of unit. So this build is for you. All right, so this build is a Corrin build that just has Canter and the second skill is optional. You could run speed, you could run pretty much whatever you want. Uh, but the idea is she is a Draconic Hex Canter unit that uses Thoron with Lens Engraving. Uh, she has Lens Engraving for the hit increase. I'm assuming you're not using this for a crit build. I think there are better things for crit builds like Erica is, is definitely a better engraving for like a crit build. So for my playthroughs, Lynn is usually up for grabs. Uh, Corin gives her increased health. She gives her magic and she gives her some res. And you can also run speed and Bulganone if you want to go for doubling armors. So in this case, so there's some armors over here. We want to one round those. So she can still one round most armors, if not all of them, as long as she has like speed plus three to four. And the other thing she can do is she can safely poke enemies and debuff them. And that's like one of the main use cases, right? So you could poke this enemy, debuff it, set it up for a kill. She can debuff bosses. With the linen engraving, her accuracy is fixed, so she can accurately hit for ship, some ship damage, as well as putting Draconic Hex on things. And also she does have Corrin. So another thing she can do that's very useful is she can freeze groups of enemies. So she can engage and then snap freeze in a plus shape. So the target gets frozen and all adjacent get frozen. And then she can canter out. Now you could also change her to a sage if you want. So if you want to make more use of Corrin, like if you want to be able to fit, spam fire, which is objectively really useful, you can switch her to sage so that she has access to the fire vein, which allows you to delay enemies. But if you just want like a highly mobile team, if you have like bonded shield or some other enemy phase units and you don't need the fire or you don't want the fire, you can just keep her on flyer. Now, another variant of this build is you can just run whatever emblem ring on her and just run canter and draconic hacks. Uh, she won't have the freeze, but she'll be able to super Thoron. Well, to some degree, super Thoron. It's like, it's like your average Thoron, you know, it deals some decent damage. It has a damage reduction from the lid engraving, but I put lid engraving on it just because it's not going to be used. It's not like a highly contested engraving. So it's kind of like you're running Ivy as a chip damage unit who will deal like 40 to 60% of something's HP and then debuff it. Or for bosses, she'll deal like 20 to 30% and then debuff it, which is very useful. And then she has the canter for repositioning. And of course, you can always use torrential roar on a group of enemies. So it's like warp her in so she can get close enough because all these enemies are quite far away. And the nice thing about Canter, I actually can use it here. The nice thing about Canter is you can actually Canter after using Torrential Roar. So if there's a line of enemies, you want to freeze like a line, freeze a bunch of adjacents as well. She can get in and get out to some degree. So it's pretty useful. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good like support build. It's not going to be like a hard carry build. The entire point of this build is for her to be able to deal enough damage to be relevant, to have minimal investments, to set up kills, to freeze things. She also has staff access. She can warp, she can obstruct, she can heal. Uh, she's not going to be the best user of these emblem weapons, which I don't even think these are very good, <laughs> to be honest, like all of Corrin's emblem weapons. But, you know, she can freeze, she can debuff. It's a pretty simple, straightforward build. I find it very useful. So I haven't really been feeding her kills. She just kind of levels up naturally from getting a kill here and there, and she's been popping off to some degree, and you know, she doesn't need to double everything, right? Like you don't have to always make every mage a speed unit. So in this in this particular use case, I have a bunch of hard carries. So I have like an Alir hard carry, a Marin hard carry, a Lapis, and a Chloe, as well as a Panette. So I have like five hard carry damage units, and then I have this Ivy debuffer, and she just sets up kills, cleans up damage, and helps kill bosses. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoy these build videos, if you found this useful, or if you think Ivy is cool. I am going to be live streaming every day, or every weekday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. EST, as well as I offer a channel membership now, which gives you cool a cool little badge that's like a little coffee cup <laughs> and some emojis that can be used in comments as well as in the live stream. All right, peace.